Hello, Namaskar, Vanakkam. This video is not for students actually. This is meant for parents ahead of the results of the ICSC and ISC class 10 and class 12 on the 7th of February at 10 a.m. And I'm going to speak not just as an educator and a mentor. I'm also going to speak as a parent, drawing basically on my own experience. You see, when it comes to parenting, there is no course on parenting where you can actually get to know what is the right thing to do and what's the wrong thing to do. We all learn from trial and error methods. So don't see this as gyan giving, but basically sharing my own experiences with you. Point number one, and I'll make five points. This is the time to support your son or daughter. So if your child does well, and I hope all your children do very well, and they do better than your friend's child, your neighbor's son, your relative's daughter, do not go overboard putting it all over Facebook and Instagram bragging about how well your son or daughter has done. I know we all feel happy. I mean, don't we? But remember, this is just the semi-final. The final will be in the month of April 2022. Okay, so final abhi baki hai, picture abhi baki hai. At the same time, and this is more important, do not go into a shell in case if the marks are not as per expectations overall or in a particular subject. Don't behave as if the heavens have fallen if your child lands up in the 70-75% bracket while you were expecting 90% or much below expectations. Please remember this is your time to support your son or your daughter. This is not the time to compare with Sharma ji ka beta ya Sharma ji ki beti. I would say try to make the results a huge motivational factor. Do not mock, do not taunt your son or daughter, but clinically examine where your child has gone wrong, where your child might be needing help, might be needing support, might be needing tremendous improvement. Maybe your child is fantastic in chemistry and biology, but his physics marks have completely pulled down his science average. Or he could be very good in physics and chemistry, but bio may be pulling down his average. He may be very good with languages and literature, but his math score would be below par. So what you need to do is to examine and help your child. Uh, one more point, and uh, I know you will understand what I'm trying to say. Do not leave your child alone if his marks are not as per expectations. Do not leave your child alone even for a moment. Immediately after the results, stay with the child. Do not scold. See, basically, I believe that no one can really be judged by a number, by a statistic, right? There are no comparison. All the five fingers are different. Similarly, all children are different. All of them will end up doing pretty well in life, irrespective of these numbers. Now let's move to stage two. What you need to do for semester two immediately after the semester one results are out. One of the things that I notice many students do, and that's a mistake, I believe, is to rely only on the question bank that many publishers bring out or previous year question papers which are available in the market. If your child is doing that, please step in to say this is not the right approach. You need to understand the concepts from your teacher. It could be your school teacher, a tuition teacher, or an SWS or any other platform. But understand the concepts from a teacher. You cannot just do the question bank questions and say that I have prepared it. Because question banks essentially are based on previous year question papers, right? Whether they say it or not say it. So they may have a particular set of questions. What happens if the question is twisted or asked in a different way? Then your child may actually feel stumped. So tayari question bank se nahi karni hai. Question bank are stage 2 or stage 3 of the preparation. So if your child is making that mistake, please correct that. Okay. So be it chemistry or be it history or be it geography or be it physics. Get all doubts clarified from a teacher. Right. Um, also, uh, with respect to question banks, if your child has bought any question bank or enrolled into any question bank series, please ensure they do attempt all the question papers, right? Let them not waste your precious money. The study with Sudhi test papers will start rolling out soon. But as I say, they should be attempted only after you have studied and done one revision, right? Only then you will get a realistic idea of where you stand and what kind of improvement you need to do because... 
SWS test papers are not a cut paste job from various other sources. They are original papers prepared by our educators, a lot of effort that goes into it. So I would want every student to attempt all the questions that have been put in the test papers. They will be both objective as well as subjective questions with the answers given. Point number three. We started the English language Ashwin course on our SWS batch co app sometime in the month of May 2021. So, in that sense, we are like, you know, almost what nine months uh, into it. Uh, and I will tell you something which I used to tell my students from day one read a newspaper every day. Most children do not do, and the result is poor content and grammatical mistakes and poor expression. So, over the next two months, at least February and March, Encourage your child to read a newspaper every day, an English newspaper every day. You also sit and read along with your child. Discuss what is read. It will really help. So you can be a partner in your child's progress and it will really help your child irrespective of whether he or she is a part of the SWS Ashwin batch course or not. But this is a gap that I find in many children which we are trying to plug. But if you can do that for your child, trust me, it will really help your child. Point number four, subjects like geography, where there is a lot of stuff that needs to be memorized. Which area dolomite is found? Which area limestone is found? Which river supplies the water to the Tata steel plant in Jamshedpur? Help your child by organizing fun quizzes at home, right? It could be over dinner, it could be post dinner. And trust me, children like it when their parents are also involved with their entire syllabus, right? Final point, this is the time to ensure that your child has a regular sleep pattern. Don't let your child sometimes study through the night, the next day study in the morning. If he is a night owl, let him study in the night. If he likes to study early morning, let him do that as a regular routine. Let your child not have irregular sleep patterns because that will have a bearing on the child's health, right? So ensure that he or she gets the right diet. He cannot afford to fall sick. Do not permit sending, uh, do not permit your child to go to crowded places right now over the next couple of months. Do not take him to weddings or any other kind of overcrowded family functions. That is not priority. Your child needs to remain hydrated, very important and basically in a very happy state of mind. That is important. Your child is your priority and I'm sure if you do that, the next three to four months will be the best months of your life. Saying it from experience, all the best to you. God bless you. Stay safe.